Hey everyone, it's been a while. Jack Hilton here, AKA Unsung Empath, with another video about what it's like to be a psychiatric social worker, AKA also a psychotherapist. I just wanted to give you a video a little bit about the importance of self-care. So what better way to do that than spending it outside with my lovely dog, Buffy, the Bernese Mountain Dog. She's a, a very much a snow dog. So sometimes what it means to practice self-care might not be on a beach, might not be, um, you know, at a resort. It might just be in your backyard in nature with your dog playing ball, hoping that the ball doesn't get lost in the snow. But the reason why I wanted to do a video like this is because sometimes when we think self-care, we think it has to be something you pencil in. It's something that you make time for. However, self-care for me means being able to be in the present, right? Being in the moment, as well as sometimes not penciling things in, coming from work and saying to myself, hey, you know what? It might be a nice time to spend some time with my dog outside in nature where it's not to so, so cold. It's about 20s, 30s right now. The snow is very much snowman weather, snowball weather. Uh, Buffy, Buffy here. She loves it. I love it. But it's important to be able to get into nature. Uh, research constantly shows that we aren't in nature enough especially up north where we tend to be a little bit more isolative in our in our rooms and our and are on the couch watching um television or video games if you're also me um and it's important to be in nature you know and honestly i live in the beautiful pine tree state maine where i'm surrounded by nature and it's a little loud right now because i do live on a faster road so people are coming back from work and also from picking up their kids um but yeah buffy's having fun i'm having fun I think that it's important to schedule this time when you come home to just kind of remove yourself from some of the instant routine things like going home, turning on the TV or um, sitting in front of a computer to do this, right? Um, being a little bit more mindful of spending some of the daylight that I have because usually it gets dark by like 3.30. Well, it's spring around the corner, so probably like 4.15. Um, so it's just important to do this because I'm actually having a really good time right now. I'm having a great time with my, my dog, especially after a stressful day. You know, sometimes when you're working in a fast paced environment like a psychiatric hospital, things are pretty much on the go, 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 go. And things can kind of be overwhelming. Um, today was kind of one of those days where it wasn't like crazy busy, but it was still enough to kind of drain some of the energy. So. Um, I came home today and I kind of felt like it was important to be one with nature and be one with my dog. And um, I even shoveled a little bit of my uh, my porch or my little deck. I didn't really do much of a good job, but I shoveled a little bit. Supposedly I saw somewhere that shoveling your deck for like 30 minutes will make you lose like 200 calories. I did like five minutes. So I've lost like somewhat something in calorie measures, but I didn't go too far because the snow is pretty high. Um, and I say hi, like up to probably my, my kneecap. Um, so yeah, I think I just wanted to do a, a cute little feature story. Sorry, I'm so used to reporting a little video because of the fact that, you know, sometimes we don't really think self-care can be something as um, something like this, where you come home and you just unplug and just instead of going inside immediately, just I'm going to spend some time with my dog who's right now looking like an ostrich, <laughs> you know, looking for her ball. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm, I'm, I feel already my, my mood have boosted, my energy has boosted. I actually wasn't going to do a video today, but I'm like, you know what, this is actually a really cool video because as social workers, as therapists, we get so burnt out. I'm telling you, we get so burnt out and overwhelmed by the, the, the stories that we hear. And it's such a blessing and a curse as well, because we want to be there. We want to be part of that journey. But sometimes we don't realize, like, I'm locked up in the office all day. I'm running around all day and I come home and I do that too. I, I lock myself up in my house and you know, I, I get tired. Um, and so I'm actually, like I said, I'm, my overall mood is um, 
brighter. I feel connected to nature. I feel connected to my dog. I feel um, I'm, at, I'm accessing my adaptive functioning. I'm feeling connected, like I said, energized. I feel capable, like I could maybe handle the cold a little bit more and maybe, well, I probably still won't plow my deck, but you know, you get the point. But I feel that if you, you know, part of being a social worker and a, a therapist is you know, finding times like this to just get connected, unplugged, um, like I said, unprepared, I guess. Like, I'm not, I don't have like a, I didn't, I didn't make 10,000 um, bloopers of me trying to uh, discuss what it's like to be a social worker, you know, in the other videos I may have done. I just kind of impromptu came up with this idea of, hey, I want to just do a fun little piece of me coming home and being connected to life, my life. <laughs> You only have one life, right? So go out and enjoy nature. Um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions or things that you do that you recommend for self-care or ways that you unplug, please just write it in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.